In which country did the dish goulash originate? Hungary, Finland, Morocco, Greece. Hungary. Final answer? Yes. How do you know that? Just one of those things I've picked up. <laughs> ever, ever been to Hungary? No, never eaten it. Never eaten goulash, never been to no. Hungary. You sure it's the right answer? Yes. Final answer? Yes. It's good. I don't know how you got there, but it's good. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> it's a sort of um, sort of meat stew, basically. Right, you got two thousand pounds. You still haven't used a lifeline. Have a look at question number seven. You're starting to enjoy this, aren't you? Have a look yeah. at question number seven. It's for four thousand pounds. On which river does Nottingham stand? Thames, Tyne, Trent, Tweed. Trent. Final answer. Been to Nottingham? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's closer than Hungary. Final answer. Yes. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. No problem at all so far. Take your time. Have a look at question number eight. Yes. It's worth £8,000. Have a look. Here it is. What is the Royal Navy equivalent of the Army's SAS? Special Submarine Service, Special Boat Service, Special Fleet Service, Special Underwater Service. Special Boat Service. How do you know that? Don't know. Are Just you in it? Re I've read it now. <laughs> Just what I've read. You lose three thousand pounds. You're wrong. That's all. Buried. It's up to you. Yes. Final answer. Yes. You just won eight thousand pounds. <laughs> SBS Special yes. Boat Service. You got eight thousand pounds. You still haven't used a single lifeline. You are seven questions away from one million. You have three lifelines left. Have a look at number nine. It is worth sixteen thousand pounds. Which country has the marker as its basic unit of currency? Denmark. Finland, Sweden, Iceland. The marker. That's uh, its 50, basic 50. unit of currency. Yeah, OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Dorothy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that would be. Does that help? No. <laughs> no. Uh, what are you thinking? Which country has the marker as its basic unit of currency? Finland, Finland. or Iceland? Can I ring a friend? Can if you want. Yeah. Jean. Jean? Okay. Give her the question. There are only two alternatives. One yeah. will cost you 7,000, one's worth 60. Yeah. I'm sorry to you. Might be down the pub. Hello? Jean? Yeah? It's Chris Aaron here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello? No. Hello. <laughs> uh, I've got Dorothy here, Dorothy Bramham. She's on £8,000 at the oh, moment. Oh, wonderful. Well, wonderful, but with your help, Jean, we can get her up to £16,000. I'll do my best. <laughs> well, next thing you hear will be the voice of Dorothy Bramham. Now, she'll tell you the question. There are only two answers. One of those is worth £16,000. OK. OK, lots of luck. Dorothy, your time starts now. Which country has the marker, the two Ks, as its basic unit of currency? Finland or Iceland? I haven't a clue. Okay. I'm honest. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I wouldn't even like to guess. I really don't know that one. <laughs> Audience? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think they <laughs> I'd say I'm like that audience. <laughs> Might as well have a go at them. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to you ask the audience? I'll go for Finland. Final answer? Yeah. Why? Because I think I know Iceland. What's the Iceland unit of currency? It's something similar to Denmark and Krona. Final answer, Finland. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Take a chance. I've blown it. What would it mean to you if you lost seven thousand pounds? Well, I've had a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't. You've just won sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> and you've had an even nicer time.
You're now having a very, very, very nice time. Yeah. You've got 60,000 pounds, Dorothy. Question number 10 is worth 32,000. You're one away from that. You're six away from a million, and you've still got one lifeline. Here we go. Have a look. Salvador Dali was a principal figure in which artistic movement? Surrealism. Impressionism. Cubism. Fauvism. It's worth 32,000. All right, you had a check on the spot for 32,000, but you would lose 15 oh. if you give me a wrong answer. I'll ask the audience. I know it's a hard one. They all gasp. OK, audience, on your keypads, please. You don't have to take their answer. Let's, uh, no. let's see what we get. Salvador Dali was a principal figure in which artistic movement? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Ooh, 63%. I'll go with it. You go with the audience? Mm. That's what I said. You know you lose 15,000 if you're wrong, don't you? Yeah. Don't mind? Final answer. You just won 32,000 pounds! <laughs> Well done, everybody. Well, 63% of everybody. <laughs> right. Dorothy, whatever happens tonight, you go home with that cheque, which is exactly what you said you wanted to do. You hoped you could possibly get there. Too. That cheque, you can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> OK? Oh, yes, gorgeous. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. You've got 32,000. This is worth 64,000. Dorothy, you've got no lifelines left. No. Here it comes. Question number 11 of a possible 15. Who wrote the novel The Day of the Triffids? Kingsley Amis, Stephen King, Frederick Forsyth, John Wyndham. John Wyndham. I thought you were going to be slow and take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read it? No, but I know of it. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. You just won £64,000. <laughs> That's the one. Now you can take it now. You can oh, hold that. Take oh, it. Thank you. At the moment, you've got that. Have a large can gulp. Sorry, it's only water. Have a large gulp oh, of water. No. <laughs> Dry mouth. I think you fancy a brandy. Whatever happens, you've got 32,000. At the moment, you're right. At the moment, <laughs> you can take you. away 64,000 pounds. Have a look at question number 12. It's worth 125,000 pounds. On which island were the Bee Gees born? Tasmania. Isle of Man. Isle of Wight. Hawaii. Not it's worth sure. £125,000. Not worth the risk. What do you think? Isle of Man. Why? <coughs> well, I just know it's not the other three. <laughs> That'd be worth a bit of a go then. It's too, it's if you too know it's not the other three. <laughs> Never risk it. <laughs> so I'm not going to force you at all. I can't. I won't. No. On which island were the Bee Gees born? Tasmania, Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, Hawaii. It's no, worth I'm not risking it. Pounds. Take it and run. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. I'm not risking this. You're not risking it, are you? No. No. It's not worth it. No. Are you going to give um, Joyce? Oh, uh... About ten quid. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who got you to make the phone call. OK, give her a big hand. Dorothy Bramman goes away with £64,000. I can tell you, if you'd said to me, Isle of Man, because you, you, you knew all the other three were wrong, you reckoned, you had £64,000 in your hand, if you said to me, Isle of Man, 
I would now be writing out a cheque for £125,000. That was the right answer. Mm. <laughs> oh, Dorothy! <laughs> Dorothy Bramham goes away with £64,000. Now, nine contestants left. Fastest finger first again. Put the four answers to the next question in the correct order in the fastest time, and you're next to play for a possible £1 million. No calling out, please, in the audience. Need them to concentrate. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these Michael Caine films in the order they were first released. So four Michael Caine films. Want them in the order from the farthest back to the nearest to the present day. Here they come. Alfie, educating Rita. The man who would be king, little voice. OK, let's have a look then. Starting with the earliest, four Michael Caine films. Uh, farthest back in time, of course, was Alfie, uh, back in 1966. Man Who Would Be King, then in 1975. Uh, then it's Educating Rita, 1983. And the most recent, Little Voice, 1998. That's the right order. Now, who got it right? All these got it right. Only two. Deb Hunter in 6.77 seconds was the fastest. Oh, it's late, isn't it? Hey, that's very good. You know you might have film, don't you? Yeah. On the plate? Yes, sir. Okay, for a million pounds of points, you're going to be So this is Deb Hunter, a part-time student and full-time mum from Little Haywood in Staffordshire. Up there in the audience, looking very proud. That's my girl. <laughs> this is uh, Mum June. And watching at home, my husband Mike and the kids Alice uh, and two-year-old Elliot. Alice, who's eight and a half, that's very important, a half, is ecstatic that Mum's on the show tonight but doesn't want her to actually win that much because she doesn't want to move house and lose all her friends. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. <laughs> Deb's doing an access course and is training to be a midwife. She says she loves babies, especially when you can give them back. <laughs> I think that echoes every, certainly every grandparent in the country. So, um, personal fitness trainer, Ronan Keating. Yes. Why? What is it about Ronan? How long have you got, really? <laughs> well, 45 minutes. He's just lovely. Just really? I think he's just very lovely. handsome and nice, nice chap. Does so he look like um, your husband, Mike? No. At all? No. Ah, sorry, a bit of a wrong <laughs> Mike's very nice as well. <laughs> he's very nice. Yeah. I've never met him, but I'm sure he's very nice. <laughs> OK, well, 15 questions, £1 million. Pounds. Three new lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, and, of course, ask this audience. who have been very good tonight. Now, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? OK, Deb, have a look at the first one for £100. Pounds. Hopefully very straightforward. There are no trick questions. Have a look. Which of these creatures is known for its two wit to woo sound? Owl, skunk, bee, or pilchard? <laughs> <laughs> this is like something out of Monty Python. Is it owl, skunk, bee, or pilchard, Deb, for £100? It's a tough one. It is a tough one. But it's owl. Not pilchard? No. <laughs> Final answer? Yes. You got 100 quid. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, Rona will be sitting at home in such a lather watching. <laughs> so excited. Right, have a look. For £200, question number two. Which of these words means a person who deliberately spoils the enjoyment of others? Kill Dare. Kill Joy. Kill Kenny. Kill Roy, I knew it would be. <laughs> 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 it's Kill Joy. It is Kill Joy, it's the right answer. <laughs> you got 200 quid. Don't miss a brand new TNA Impact Wrestling Sunday at 9, exclusively on Champion. Look at